This is K-Agent Enterprise. I'll give you a quick tour that includes creating an agent, using an MCP server, as well as some of the more advanced capabilities such as tracing and authorization policy. So first of all, I need to go ahead and log in. Now, I'm going to create an agent. I thought today I'd create a simple news headlines agent that can tell me what the news headlines are for the day. This is a multi-cluster system. There are three clusters, all of which run agents, and talk back to the management cluster, which serves this UI and also provides our observability backend. Let me put this on cluster one and into the K agent namespace. I also need to describe the agent for other users. Now I need to select the model. Loaded into this cluster, I've got a couple of Gemini models as well as GPT. I'm going to use GPT. Now I need to give the agent a simple prompt. So I'm going to say summarize today's news headlines and then combine the results, giving more weight to uh, stories that appear on both the sites. For now, I'm not going to give any access to any tool for the agent. Now I can go ahead and use the agent. I've got a really simple prompt. What's today's news? When I click send, the agent goes away. It sends the prompt to the LLM and the LLM returns a result. Now you can see that it has returned some news headlines this time, but these headlines are nothing to do with what is actually happening today. These are pretty much generic headlines. So the LLM in this case has decided it can't get access to uh, today's current news and therefore created some sample headlines for me. It's not ideal. What I want to do is give the agent the ability to actually access the internet and get the current content of those websites. So to do that, I'm going to use an MCP server. There are lots of MCP servers out there, many thousands. Most of them are designed to run on an individual laptop for a single user. But of course, this is running in Kubernetes, so we clearly want to make this available for multiple users and available over the network. We created the KMCP tool to enable you to do this pretty easily. I'll switch over to my terminal so that I can deploy the fetch tool, a reference tool a reference tool for MCP uh, using KMCP. KMCP is going to pick up that tool and it's going to containerize it and then deploy it into Kubernetes. It also handily uh, bundles the MCP inspector, which enables us to quickly interact with the tool. So I can go ahead, connect to the tool and see the tools that are available. I can even execute the tool to see the result that the LLM is going to get when the agent calls it. So we could look at the BBC News website, for example, call the tool and see the result. Now you'll see that today uh, the BBC News is uh, showing nothing that's remotely like what the uh, LLM thought that, thought that might be going on in the UK today. Now I've got the MCP tool deployed. I need to go into the agent and tell the agent to use it. So I'm going to head over to the agent settings. I'm going to adjust the prompt so that the prompt tells the agent to always call the tool. So I'm going to say using the tool fetch. Um, and I'm going to say once you have fetched the websites, then combine the results um, to give extra weight. So that, that's that. And now I need to give the agent access to the tool. So I'll, in the tools panel, I'll select the fetch tool and update the agent. Now I can try the prompt once more. Let me grab that prompt. What is today's news? And ask the agent to respond. This time the agent is taking a lot longer. This is because the agent is now asking the LLM the question including the information has access to the tools. The LLM responds, tells the agent to call the fetch tool, get the results, and return those results to the LLM. And we can see that this time, the results from the LLM are much more realistic and match what we were getting from that call to the BBC website. And in fact, after a moment, we'll see that in this chat, we can also see all the tool calls 
and the results, the arguments and results that were made to them. Well, what happens if I want to see this in a little more detail? Well, I can switch over to the tracing view in KAgent Enterprise. And I can see uh, a trace view for that uh, interaction we just did. On the left, I've got the execution flow graph, including all the nodes. I can even replay the interaction in real time that uh, happened between myself, the agent, and the tool. And we can see here various nodes get highlighted as those operations are called. In the middle, I've got that more traditional trace tree view, including all the timings. And on the right, in the first tab, we have the highlighted the input and the output, as that is the most important element when you are debugging uh, agents. Um, and I can also switch over and see all the metadata that was sent and received as a JSON object. Now, let me show you some more of the policy capability that we have. So imagine I'm running a retail outlet and I am creating a really simple um, order processing agent that I've created a really simple order processing agent that can assist my customer service people. But something's gone wrong with the order processing agent. I've also created, so I want to find out a little bit more about what's going on. And I've also created this knowledge base agent. The knowledge base agent is capable of responding to simple questions about our business. So I can ask it, what's up with the order processing agent and see what it tells me. Now this agent is also capable of making tool calls, so we should expect it to take a few seconds to complete its execution. And I can see it's responded with this message. I've sent you an email with promotional material for agent client. That's not what I asked it at all. Um, but then it goes on to tell me that there are, it, does, it could help me with the order processing agent and it will try to assist me. So there's clearly something going wrong here. Um, if, when I check my email, I do indeed notice that there is an email promoting agent coin. So I'm getting pretty worried at this point about the fact that uh, some of my agents are misbehaving and sending out emails to my customers that are going to put my business into disrepute. So I think the easiest way to solve this is simply to stop the agents having any access to the send email tool whilst I investigate what's going on. Included in KAgent Enterprise is an authorization policy feature that enables you to create simple authorization policies that control what agents can access what tools. For example, I could apply this uh, custom resource into my Kubernetes cluster that would stop the knowledge base agent, which uh, is the one we just saw misbehaving, as well as the order processing agent, which was showing similar signs of problems, from accessing my uh, MCP server, which I deployed using KMCP, that's capable of sending email. This allows us to really quickly and simply control what agent has access to what tools, or indeed what agent has access to other agents. In this video, I've shown you how to create simple agents that can use MCP tools, debug them using tracing, and control access to agents, control access to tools, and agents to agents using our authorization policies.